In this section, what we're going to talk about is what's called a plate spreader. The purpose of a plate spreader, as we did earlier in the video, where we needed to separate these plates here in order to turn our strike wheels in order to get them in the proper position for striking position, we did that primarily by hand. But you can use a device like this. This is called a plate spreader. And this is a handy little device, and I'm going to demonstrate how it works that you can use. And it also has other functions too, which we'll show you, which I'll show you. Now, let's say this is the movement that you've just got done working, and it needs to be adjusted, the wheels need to be adjusted. And you see these two little slits on either side here of this plate spreader, and they fit right onto the movement plate, like so. See how I've attached those? Just like that. And now you'll have these nylon screws that you tighten down onto the onto the plate and the reason why they have nylon ones is to help prevent your plates from getting marred. Okay, next thing we need to do would be to go ahead and remove this screw. This is the closest screw that we have. Okay, we're going to re remove one nut, this closest one here. We'll go ahead and loosen this one over here, but not remove it, just make it loose, and this one in the center. And the ones that are at the bottom, we'll leave those where they are. And let's get a little closer view so we can see what, what's going on here. You can see up close how we have the plate spreader on the bottom plate and the top plate. And all you need to do at this point is just turn this dial. And you can see, now if you look at this pivot hole here, see as I turn this way, the plates are separating and it's moving off of that pivot. It's, you can't see it real easily if you look at the whole thing, but if you look at the pivot like that, you can see where it is spreading. And these pivots seem to sink down into the plate as, as it spreads apart. And you can see, let's see, a little bit more, and this wheel just slides right out, just like that. Also be sure that you have your, uh, let down your power in your mainsprings because otherwise your whole, your whole movement will explode if you don't have the power let down. So now you can let's see, spread it just a little bit more. We can loosen this wheel in here, advance it to where we need it, let the plate spread her down a little bit, make sure we're back in our pivot hole, put our governor back, See, this frees up, frees up your hands a lot easier than trying to hold everything together with your hands. Hold this in place. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way uh, so that you have a good view of everything. Make sure we're lined up with that pivot hole there. There we are. And back down. And we're in good shape. Just remove these nylon thumb screws here. Take that off. Now we can go ahead and put our nuts back on, tighten them down, and we're in good shape. There. So you can see how this can be a really handy tool.